We got Spencer Jones with us. Spencer, you ready to check out some of your top performing social media posts? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go, baby. First one, we're going with the profile picture. You and David Cohn, big David Cohn fan? <laughs> oh yeah, I met uh, Cohn in uh, New York City. I was at, uh, I think it was Guardians, Yankees playoff game. One of those uh, ALDS matchups. Um, I think that was the game that there was a rain out, I want to say. One of the games got rained out. We, uh, we got tickets to the game. And for some reason, somebody grabbed me, pulled me up in the box. I got to meet Cone. We got a photo. Photo turned out great. And I was like, hey, new profile picture. So, yeah. And he's been with Yes Network for a long time doing the broadcast, which you can watch the games on Yes and the Yes app. But uh, it's fun watching him and, and listening to him still, right? Absolutely. At the times that you can, I'm sure, right? Absolutely. Yeah. He's a great guy. Next one. This might have been that game that you're talking about. This was <laughs> October 2022. That was a fun day. I think that was earlier in the week. Okay. I was hanging out with um, Jack's a good buddy of mine. Um, and I was staying up with him for a couple days, and I mentioned I wanted to go to a playoff game. So um, we got hooked up with some pretty good tickets, as you can tell, for that playoff game. That was my first time at Yankee Stadium, and yeah, they all told us to look in one direction, and I had no idea where it is, so you can kind of see me squinting there. But everybody <laughs> knew where the camera was, and there's me leaning, trying to look for it. You got Anthony Volpe in the background, yep. squinting also, and then uh, Al Edder himself too, so that's a nice group of kids there with. Yeah, it was, a, it was a really fun day, I remember. Amazing. You and Shohei Otani, man, this is like a <laughs> baseball legend. You're already surrounded by them, but yeah. you got Otani. No, that was a cool one. Um, that was the day after the draft. They had the draft in LA that year. I had my draft party in San Diego. Agency called me and said, hey, we're having an all-star party up in LA. Like, you gotta come, you gotta come through. And you know, the talk of the party was, is Shohei gonna come, right? And so, yeah, you know, he, he pulls up and I was like, I gotta talk to him. Like, that's one thing I absolutely have to do. So we went over, I talked to him a little bit and he actually said to me in English, he's like, you're the kid with a really good swing, right? Wow. And I was like, wow. Like, my day was made, week was made. I mean, that might have been better than the draft, not gonna lie, just hearing that guy say that. So it was pretty cool. Dude, I got the chills just thinking about that, man. <laughs> Did you tell me you used to pitch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the uh, area code games my senior year. Um, I think I was throwing against AV's team um, in, wow. that, in that game. But yeah, that's me up on the bump. I was more of a thrower than I was a pitcher though. I didn't really know where it was going, but that's a good photo. I remember seeing that. That was one of the only ones I have of me pitching, so it's pretty cool. Oh, no way. And if you look close enough, it kind of looks a little bit like a Clayton Kershaw, or at least that's what I think. I don't yep. know about everybody at home, but. I mean, yeah, trying to, trying to model that as much as possible, because that was, you know, when it was peak, so. <laughs> It's a good thing that you stuck with the hitting because, dude, when you listen to this home run, just hearing the crack of the bat, dude, it's like, man, it's like a rocket got launched. Got a slider up in the zone, was looking for it, and put a good swing on it. So it was pretty cool it all worked out like that. Swish and uh, Dietrich were the most excited, I think, out of anybody. I ran to the dugout just like trying to like act cool, and they were so excited. It was awesome. The two hype men. Yeah, honestly, that's right? what they are. Working with Aaron Judge and just talking to him, what have been some of the memorable conversations that you've had with him? Because a lot of people say that your swing looks like his from the left side. <laughs> um, we haven't talked too much like technical swing stuff. I mean, right now, I'm just trying to gain as much information about, you know, how to maintain your body, how to, you know, stay healthy for as many games as possible and just learn from, you know. Like, I think one of our first interactions was he was bench pressing and I was in the weight room and he's like, hey, spot me. And he's like, you know, doing like 95 or hundreds or whatever, dumbbells. And like, I did not need to be there. He was just repping them out easy. And I was asking him, because in the previous off season, I was doing a lot of like straight bar benching and I was asking him what he thinks about that. And he's like, dude, when you're this big, like you just got to move right. Something along those lines. And I was like, all right, just move right. And so I scrapped the, uh, the barbell benching with the dumbbell bench this off season. Felt great. Nice. All right, so next one. Are you a bigger baseball card collector or action figure collector? Because you got both of them in this picture that you posted. Yeah, so that was funny. When we were in Hudson Valley, I was rooming with uh, Hampton and Thorpe, and we were we had an off day. We didn't know what we were going to do. And so I think, I think we went to Target, and we're like, all right, let's go find something to do at Target, right? Let's go find something we can build or whatever. And the first thing we bought was like a Lego Batmobile. Built the Lego Batmobile in the, uh, in the apartment. We'd all take turns building it. And then one day, Chase shows up with an Optimus Prime. And so he builds the Optimus Prime, and I, I just finished signing some baseball cards. 
and that was one that was left over. I just stuck it in Optimus's hand, put it on top of the fridge, and got a good photo out of it. Dude, nice. <laughs> so Chase built this? Yeah, Chase built it. All right, so next one. We gotta throw your mom in there, and then Absolutely. also too, the Country Music Awards. That's a cool experience and a nice date yeah. night for you and your mom, right? It was awesome, yeah. That was the uh, second time I went to the CMAs. Um, our agency, they, they do a good job. I guess the music department, they don't really like going as much because you know they already know everybody, they'd rather do their own thing. So they give it to baseball and we had a great time. Uh, my mom's a huge country music fan, loves Jimmy Buffett and you know this past year after Jimmy passed they had a, a tribute for him at the CMAs so that was really special. Got to share that night with my mom, she was there for a couple days. Um, birthday not too long after, so it was just a nice little, little weekend getaway. Amazing, and also too right in the backyard, I'm sure it's probably Nashville and you went to Vanderbilt, so it's a familiar area for you guys. Very familiar, yeah. Awesome. So this is, uh, this is one of the last ones. This is a great picture. You look awesome, but I think this video might be better. <laughs> did you guys time this out? How did it work out so perfectly? It was like an agency retreat or something, and they were doing a photo shoot, and we saw the planes flying up above. Like they were doing circles, and then it, the videographer is like, "Oh, we gotta wait. We gotta time this up perfectly. We're gonna try and get the planes in the background." And so it just timed up. They just told me to walk, not too fast. And so they got a good video out of it. Dude, it that's sweet. nuts! You're like the six, seven Top Gun Tom Cruise, <laughs> right? Felt like it, yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's the last one. This is such a special moment and something so cool that you did for a fan in college, and I'm sure you're gonna do a lot when you're playing with the New York Yankees. But just break this down because this is special. You know, at Vanderbilt, you know, I get the ball from the center field or whatever, and um, it was either, you know, try and throw it all the way back into the dugout or give it out to a fan. So all the time I was giving balls out to fans and stuff. And in between the fence and the bleachers, there's a big gap. And what I learned was, you know, some of the younger fans might not squeeze the ball all the way and the ball pop out and go into the bleachers. And I saw, you know, one too many kids drop the ball, and I was like, I'm not gonna have that happen again. I'm gonna go deliver it to them. Um, had no idea that anybody was recording. I was doing it all the time. Um, I was just tall enough to jump up there and hand, hand the ball to the fan and it's kind of funny they caught it on video but oh, dude, um, so it's something we like to do at Vanderbilt. So. And it's such a great video too man, it's awesome. I'm so glad that somebody got it on camera. Man, what a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So we see all these great social media posts. What would you say is your favorite part about being on Instagram? I know you're on X a little bit too but what's your favorite part about social media? Um, social media is great because it allows you to connect with a lot of people. Um, a lot of my friends from high school or wherever, you know, guys I've played with back in the day, just keeping in touch with them and um, you know, being able to share the things that I've been up to and the things that I've been doing with a lot of friends from back home that may not you know, have the same coverage or be too exposed to baseball as much as you know, people in the circle are. All right, well now's the time for the plug. If somebody who's watching this is not following you just yet, why should somebody follow you and what should they expect? Um, a lot of content. I mean, I try to mix it up pretty often. Obviously going to be some baseball stuff in there, but I like put my life in there too. Uh, I'll try and, uh, you know, spice it up a little bit, but as of right now, I'm trying to keep it pretty tight, pretty professional. So. My man Spencer, thank you so much for hopping on the feed, brother. Yeah, of course. Thank you.